Hello, my name is Daniel Watchford, and I am a member in discernment with the United Church of Christ. I'm enrolled in a class called Introduction to the Bible, and one of my assignments every week is to do a reflection or a devotion. I've chosen to fill mine to share and as a project during this time in pandemic. This week, the conversation of celibacy came up in class. For those who are not in my class, or not in my group in class, we were talking about Paul in the Bible. I could go on for an hour about Paul at least, but I'm not. Paul is a weird cat, and you either like Paul or you don't like Paul. Or you like the letters written by Paul himself, and you have challenges with the letters written by others using Paul's name which was common in the Bible and considered or was considered okay during that time, we would call that forgery now. Paul states in 1 Corinthians chapter 7, using the Common English Bible, Wish all people were like me, but each has a particular gift from God. One has this gift and the other has that one. I am telling those who are single and widows that it's good for them to stay single like me, but if they can't control themselves, they should be married because it's better to be merry than to burn with passion. I could talk about the rest of the scripture, but I do not feel like that's pertinent to my thought this week. Confession, I have practiced celibacy before. Follow-up, there may be a chance that most of you either reading this or listening to me on my video at once jumped to sex. Sure, I am telling you I did not have intimacy with other people for a few years for to be exact. But Paul is saying more in that statement than he just does not have sex. Let's listen to that again. Each has a particular gift from God. One has this gift and another has that one. We could dive into how celibacy may have been a factor in the Catholic sex scandals, but I don't think that's helpful. There were many people who can practice celibacy and not do bad things to other people. What I hear Paul saying is that celibacy worked for him in his attempts and successes to do God's work. Paul loved Christ. Paul loved the concept of the kingdom of God. And Paul put his whole heart into that in his life. I did a lot of soul searching when I was celibate. I took up different things to focus on. I reflected on my life. I made a lot of changes in my life. I reflected on ministry. And I enrolled in ministry school during this reflection period. I did what Paul asked in another part of the scripture, which is pray and then go back to who I was with. Or in some cases, find a new partner who understood that I had bigger calling in life. When I talk about my time of celibacy, I talk about it in a way that is about what I accomplished during my time of reflection, and I would probably do it again. As someone who lives by themselves without living partners, I'm doing it right now. I have gotten projects done that I did not think I would get done, and I am still doing other things that I have time for because I'm not seeing my partners. I am living in an unintentional period of celibacy, and I am okay with that. 
And I want to thank God and reflect on the fact that God allows us to live out our callings either through marriage or by celibacy or by being a lady or by being ordained or by being a minister because we are all part of the body of Christ and we can all achieve that closeness of God. So go out this week or stay in this week and know that God loves you and the gifts that you have from God are the gifts that you can use to make this world better. And I will see you next week. Till then.